and they're off. And a good start on the inside. Sagimi Tone broke, tossing the head in the center and taken up. Flashy Meister races up on the outside. And as they go down to the turn, Rising Star is going forward as well. And uh, it's going to be in the early stages, Sagimi, who comes out in front of Rising Star. Abies Flat has found a great spot over on the inside. And Flashy Meister, the center, Tone Broke is out wider with Pay for Peace. And the widest is He's a Macho Man. Early on, Lucas and Laurie and Enciero at the back. There's little between first to last as they climb the hill. And it is Patrick Husbands and Sagimi out in front with on the outside Rising Star. Tone Broke is now settling a little bit better, is sharing third spot. And Pay for for Peace has come up on the outside. Right behind them and wide is He's a Macho Man, followed by Flashy Meister on the inside. And still behind is Avis Flatter, who's one off the inside, only three and a half off the pace. A couple to Enciero, and now last of all is Lucas and Laurie. That is the running order in the 128th running of the Breeders' Stakes, and showing the way, Rising Star has gone to the front. Pay for Peace second, taking the drop. Now Sagimi as Tone Broke is keen to go forward in third. He's a Macho Man is behind them in fifth. Avis Flatter just behind as a length away on the inside. Flashy Meister, Lucas and Laurie edging up, and in Sierra is the trailer. They race along towards the five and a half and getting out in front. Rising Star into second, pay for peace. Tone Broke is handy up on the outside as well and back on the rail, Sagimi. And then came He's a Macho Man, starting to come into it now. Avis Flatter trying to thread a path through in the center and Lucas and Laurie taking off around the outside and back to the tail in Sierra and last is Flashy Meister. They race down towards the final three and a half furlongs and out in front, Rising Star. In second, Pay for Peace. Tone Broke is on the inside, being passed here by He's a Macho Man. Avis Flatter is still about four lengths off the lead. Lucas and Laurie the outside. They come down towards the turn into the home stretch. Rising Star on the inside in front and Tone Broke's right behind. And now coming is He's a Macho Man and in the clear, Avis Flatter. Tone Broke can't go on. Avis Flatter springs the step that may be the winning one. And Avis Avis Flat has hit the front. Avis Flat have got away. Tone Broke trying to come with a rally again. And now it's a test of stamina. Avis Flat is not over yet. Tone Broke's coming. Tone Broke looked beaten, but now he's coming for the win. Tone Broke has rallied to win. The Breeders stakes a length. Avis Flatter, and he's a macho man in the photo. Then in Sierra, Lucas and Laurie, and Rising Star. A comeback kid. Tone Broke gets it in 2.30.43. Official. Tone broken an absolute thriller. Darren Fleming, the assistant trainer to Steve Asmussen. This guy, you know, he's been all over the world, and he showed his experience today because he had to show a lot of patience. He really did. He stayed on and stayed on and tried really nicely. So just take us through the race from your point of view, because even at the start, he seemed to toss his head at the start. He did. It looked like it was going to be a replay of the Queen's Plate a little, where he didn't want to relax early, and Rafi got him to relax, and everything went smooth, and we had a little traffic trouble in my heart pumping the <laughs> turn, but luckily Tone Broke was uh, talented enough to overcome it. Did you think at the top of the stretch, after he got shuffled back, that he would have that type of kick to kick on like that? I really didn't go on a mile and a half, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I was pretty, but he proved me wrong. Darren, congratulations. Thank you. Tone Broke has now won two jewels of the Canadian Triple Crown after picking up the victory in today's Breeder Stakes.